Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Lost Souls Tabletop News with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan! Brought the new Shade Spire group. Yes! Yes. I'm uh, super excited about it. You this. get to say the names. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Sepulchral. Sepulchral. Se sorry, sepulchral. I can't say Sepulchral. 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 The Guard. guard. <laughs> the Undead Guard. <laughs> and the Iron Skulls boys yes. over here too, the the, the Orc uh, Warband. Yes, two pretty war bands bands for the game Shade Spire. Shade Spire yeah. was a hit. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, we sold a lot in our store. We're oh yeah. That, so. It's a yeah. really good, tight, clean system, mm -hmm. um, and it's really nice to see that Games Workshop has jumped on uh, supporting this game by releasing these two warbands so soon after the game actually came yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I was a little afraid they were going to do the same thing they did with like Blood Bowl and wait to bring stuff out, but no, yeah. they're like, no, we're going to get everything no, out we quick. Get now, yeah. um, and it Which is a great. fantastic game. Yeah. yeah. I'm for really sure. excited about these. We've shown them off before, but they're out now. Yeah. So I haven't seen them, so I'm excited. Yeah. So uh, let's dive on in to the new uh, Shade Spire Warbands. All right, Evan, we have the two Shade Spire Warbands, yes. the Sepulchral Guard and the Iron Skulls Boys. This guy's my spirit animal. Do you want to start with that box? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. we got to start right. with this one now. All right, let's you do the honors. All right. Share it. It'll be on you. We already cut the uh, the yep. stickers, so that's good. Oh, show the back off. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. That's what the what's in the box. You're going to get the, the undead guys. And they're, they're already, like, the, the plastic we'll see is already colored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The orcs guys, they're already green. green, so. You get seven fighters, seven cards for the fighters, mm -hmm. 29 cards, and 31 universal upgrades, um, which is pretty cool. So. Yeah. All right. Like I said, I've done the honors on one of these before, so I'm Yeah, yeah, you. it's all me? Okay, it's I'm all excited. You, all right. Show off what we got. It's a well-organized box. Look uh, at this. All right, so nothing else in the box. In the box. Have that pre-primed looking yeah, plastic. Yeah, I actually really like their plastic. This is the same hard plastic that we're familiar with with all the GW stuff, and I'll zoom yeah. on these so you can see it them. It feel different. Um, it doesn't feel any different. It's well, just a different color. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but it, yeah. this also the easy to make. It's kind of snap-on. Yeah, actually, it really is. Look at that. Yeah, you, you're going to want to use glue. I'll be sure. honest. Sure. Clippers and glue to get these guys out and put them on the screen. But they're still easy to make. They are super easy. Yeah, it, super easy to make. Yeah. Which is and nice. the detail on them is really nice. So, um, but yeah, you, you're definitely going to want to use. I mean, you you can probably snap fit them together. I, yeah. I just use glue. I, it, it'll, why it'll not? Results. You know, yeah. it'll last longer. So, yeah. Backside but of them. Real the quick, bases yeah. are already textured and everything like that. So. Really cool yep. all the way around. Great, great details, yep. just like GW is known for. Uh, we have this, which is the <clears throat> build guide. Notice how it's only three, technically three yeah, pages. Because they're super, easy, super to easy to build. And in the very bottom of this well organized box, there are the cards. You want to yeah. take a look at that? So each one of these decks, or each one of these sets, you're going to get uh, the warrior cards for each one of your warriors. Yeah. So this is an example. This is the champion. You're going to get the other ones too. But um, it's got their. their um, Stats down here. So this is their move stat. This is their defense style, mm -hmm. which if you're not familiar with Shades Bar at all, um, it's a it's an arena-based combat hex tactical yeah. combat game. It's super quick to learn, super easy to play, but that's their movement on the hexes. Mm -hmm. That's the their defense type. This is a dodge, not an armor. This one relies on its skill to get out of the way. Right. This is his health pool. That's cool. Uh, this is his attack. He has a white blade. Uh, it has a range of one, so it's, it's a close range melee. Uh, you roll two dice and you're looking for hammers to hit. Right, okay, uh, on for the die. For, yeah. yeah, that's a success. You get If you get one hammer, it's a success. The defender will then roll their defense die to try to dodge or block it with that. Okay. You have any, if you have more hits than they have uh, blocks, you 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 uh, succeed in your attack and you do that, your, much, damage. that okay. much damage to their health pool. So okay. cool. if I succeeded twice, mm -hmm. I still only do two points of damage. Right. Um, on the flip side of this is their... Um, is their inspired version so this one is this fighter is returned to the battlefield that's the trigger for it to become inspired when you flip it over the inspired versions usually have better stats oh, okay um, so like, that's going to change but, yeah, yeah. They, they have the same health i believe for most part right but they'll have like maybe an extra it's just on the other side of the card yeah, yeah. maybe have like an extra point of damage right on their attack or maybe they'll roll an extra die or things like that so um it's a really cool tactical game we'll also uh, have this it looks like yeah. a ability so fortify yep you're also going to have um your glory cards 
which you can uh, purchase as like upgrades. Oh, you're gonna have two different decks that you're gonna have as a player. You're gonna have your, uh, your kind of your objective cards. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones you're you're trying to score during the game to get uh, points. Makes sense. Uh, and then you're gonna have your your hand, which is your action cards that you can spend them to do things. So okay. for example, fortify here. Uh, uh, friendly fighter holding objectives have plus one defense for the next activation. So you can play your action cards. If you have a fighter on an objective, that one has plus one defense. They're going to roll an extra defense. Though. Yeah. Um, and these decks are, some of them are generic and some of them are specific to this faction. This one is actually a generic one. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's. Uh, it might be. Actually, it might be. I'm not sure. Well, it has the symbol up here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that might just be the generic shades. I think that's a generic one. Okay, that's fine. But yeah. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this one's a generic one because it yeah. doesn't say. But that's cool. Um, Supposed regard only. But yeah. But that's a different stuff. Let's take a look at the, uh, the orc ones. The orc here. ones. I'll, I'll pass you that and I'll open this right. guy up. Yeah, it's really cool too because. The uh, Sepulchral Guard, there's seven of them. Yeah. You only get four activations a turn, so why would you want seven guys? It's because you get more board control. Uh, uh. You, can, you can support your guys better, more attacks. You can take more losses. Yeah. They're not as tough, but there's more of them, so it's one of the trade-offs. Uh, here's the orcs. Meanwhile, the orcs. There's only four of them. Sorry, we've got to show off the back. back. Yeah, there's only four. Interesting. Yeah, so you get four activations. So basically, you're gonna hopefully going to be activating each one of these guys once per turn. Yeah. And they're going to be doing their thing. Um, but if you lose guys, suddenly you have extra activations. So each person's got to be a little bit tougher. Um, that nice yeah. Colored plastic again. Yeah, it's a nice dark green. It's almost like a black orc Forest green. green. Yeah, yeah. So uh, textured bases, really cool models. Uh, really great detail on them. I really like this axe, by the way. Yeah. Because it's like you took like a flat piece of metal and just, and just hacked it, it yeah. into sharp points. Um, very very orky. Yeah. yeah. Super easy to build. It's all pegs and, and holes and you're just matching everything up. Yeah. And again, use glue. You'll get better results. Sure. Clip and clean them. Glue them together. Super fast. We got the uh, build for it Speaking again. Super fast. Here's Boom. The, three pages again. Three page little color booklet. Yeah. We have these cards, which the barcode's kind of covering part of them, but yeah. Go. Ed Buck. Yeah. We have uh, Gerzak Arnskull, who's the leader. Uh, can't show off the rest of his stats, obviously, but you can see uh, his attacks and everything also included. Yep. Ed Butt, which uh, I think this one is specific Exclusive. to them yeah. because it's it's the matching icon. And there, as a matter of fact, let me double check real fast for that support pro guard. But you get the idea. This is one of their actions he's going to be able to do. Yeah. Um, no, that was not a match for so real fast. The uh, icon is a generic Shades by icon, and that's the actual. Okay, so, so it is a generic. This is that. a generic one. But there, there are going to have exclusive yeah. ones in there. Yeah, you can. Th that's the Shades by symbol. Right. So cool. Okay. But there's going to be uh, in this box specifically. There will be four fighters, four of the fighter cards, which are specific to them. Yeah. There's 29 Iron Skull, Iron Skulls boys, specific cards, and 31 Universal upgrade cards, upgrade ploy, and objective cards. Very cool. So, yeah. But it, you're gonna have everything you need to play this warband will be in the box. Yeah. Uh, the only thing you're gonna need outside of the box will be like the, the actual the game rule with the book. rules. Yeah. <laughs> but if, yeah, for the price point for these boxes, it's a completely uh, standalone warband ready to rock and roll. You only need the, uh, the base game um, for the board and dice. And yeah, definitely. Stuff. But scenarios, rule book, whatever. But if you just wanna play like Orcs, I want to play the Orcs. You just go buy the base game yeah. and pick this box up. Yeah, easy to go. Yeah, and if you buy the box too, in, in one of these one of the things, you're going to have three Warbands to play with. Yeah. Also, uh, in a sneaky kind of way, you kind of want to buy both boxes. Why? Uh, because of the uh, the generic upgrades. Oh, you, you have can more. Use, you, you can use them in between stuff. And as you play the game, uh, ideally while you're playing, you're gonna you're gonna take your warband mm -hmm. and you're gonna shape your deck and change it to fit your playstyle. Makes sense. Yeah. So you want more options. Right. Yeah. So you may want more options. Um, and again, the fourteen, the four warbands, you can build them and, and play them super quick. So yeah, for sure. This is one of those games that I think players are really gonna get really gonna enjoy. Uh, having multiple warbands just trying stuff out figuring out what works for them plus as, as we'll talk about too in the uh the pricing they're not expensive either no so. no they're really not yeah. that bad and again it's uh you know kind of like in blood bowl 
most players have like a team or two because they're like yeah. that's 12 models that's their team they get really good at that one team sure with this game because it's designed for competitive play you're gonna want uh to try out different armies or at least check out their cards yeah yeah so and then the more armies you get the more cards you get the it's kind of like x the more the ships right, the more, right, right. more cards yeah there right. are now again there are specific cards that you can only use with that word right game, that's just like but that's what makes but yeah. them unique yeah so very cool yeah let's hop out for a really quick recap so those were the two new Shadespire Warbands. Again, the Sepulchral Guard and the Iron Skulls Boys. Yes. Uh, good stuff. Very what do cool. you think? Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love the easy to build models. I'm yeah. not really good at modeling, so uh, <laughs> these are perfect for me. Yeah, they're not. Again, they're not quite snap fit, but yeah. they're pretty close. Oh. Uh, you can. But they are easy to build. They are yeah. super easy to build. Mm -hmm. You can't like they're all single pose, but they're really cool. Yeah. And dynamic models. The color, the different color in yeah. plastics is, is nice. Yeah, it's it, you can tell again uh, that Games Workshop made these kits specifically so that once you get them built, you can start playing. Yeah. Uh, pretty much immediately. Yeah, it's kind um, of like an entry level into not yeah. entry level. But like, if you're a board game player, it's yeah, a really yeah, good way absolutely. of getting into Warhammer. So. Yeah, it's fantastic. So uh, let's crunch some numbers on these. We'll stop gushing yes. real quick. So uh, what's the price point for these uh, two? Each of them are 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. So get your Shadespire copy. Yep. Pick a Warband, 30 bucks. Uh, these are obviously from Games Workshop for use with Shadespire. Um, just a side note too, if you go on their website mm -hmm. and you're playing Age of Sigmar, you can actually look up their unit rules. So oh, that's very they cool. They have special unit rules for Age of Sigmar, if you want to use these particular ones. Yeah, that's really cool. So it's just a nice little nod, you know, if yeah. you want to get into the bigger world of, of Warhammer Age of Sigmar, you can do that with the Chase Bar Warhammer. So cool stuff. So uh, they're brand new. Brand new, just came out. Yes. Go check them out. I'm Adam Harry from Bold. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics to Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Oh.